welcome. In this session, we'll start with the concept of transient and steady state response. Let's start. Now, in the previous sessions, we learned how the uh, this the response in in RL and RC circuit changes as we connect our source or disconnect our source in the network. So the response in the response that may be the voltage in RL RC circuit or the current in RL circuit. So the voltage across the capacitor in RC circuit and the current through in RL network. So the response may be either voltage or current. We know how it changes as we connect a source to this. We saw the behavior looks like this. So this may be the plot of voltage or current with respect to the time. So the current or voltage rises like this. And we saw in five time constants, it reaches to the final value. It reaches to the final. Same way, if it was source free, means when we disconnected the source, the voltage or the current in that circuit decreases like this. If you remember it, if it's voltage or current, the response looks like this. And in five time constants, it approximately reaches to zero. In five time constants, the response approximately reaches to zero. As I said earlier in the course, that our response in this network will be either voltage or current. As is our in, the input may be either voltage or current, the response is also in terms of voltage and current. All right. So what we learned in the previous session, after five time constants, the the network achieves its final value. Now in the when we connect a source means when we connect a source the network uh, then charges the the response increases in other words the capacitor charges are the inductor charges and the voltage across the capacitor increases like this or the current in the inductor increases like this same way if we disconnect a source from this rc or rl network the capacitor voltage or the inductor current in rl and rc circuits respectively decreases like this. And in five, five time constant, it reaches to zero. All right, so that this is the behavior of this response in this RL and RC circuits for voltages and currents. Now, what do we mean by transient response, a transient part of this response? Transient part of the response are simply the transient response are simply the transient state of the network, what do I mean by that? This is that part of the response in which the values of this response are changing. Now, as you can see, the transient part should be equal to five time constants. Why? Because in this five time constants, the response is changing. It means it is, in this case, it is increasing from zero to final value, that is the final value. And in this case, it is decreasing from this value to the zero. So in five time constants, we can say the transient response is that part of the response which is present in the first five time constants. And the steady state response is that response after which it has acquired the final value. And how much time it takes for this circuit to acquire the final value, whether it is this or this behavior. So it takes it approximately five time constant. So after five time constants, we have one more response that is referred as the steady state response. So steady state response is that part of the response in which the values are not changing, in which the values of these response are not changing. Means once it has acquired, uh, once it has acquired the value, it will not change. Now, why does the change occur in this, uh, this v, v and I? whether it is RL, RC circuit or any other stuff. Why does the change occur? Now the change occurs as we can see when you connect a source, means when I turn on the input, how do I turn on the input? I turn off the input here, you can say that's here. So we say that action is referred as switching action. So the change in the input, sorry, change in the response occurs due to the 
due to the change in input when you connect a uh, disconnect or uh, disconnect this input. And that action is referred as switch induction. So the transient state occurs when we uh, apply an input or do the switch induction. Another way to change the values of the response is by changing the values of the parameter. I mean, it's by changing the values of parameter. What are the parameters? That is R, L, and C. Right? Changing the, these values, we may have the, we may have the values of the voltage or the current in RL or RC circuit will change, but that's highly unlikely because that's what we have assumed at the beginning of the course. We are going to keep R, L, and C constant in the network in this in this analysis. All right. So the transient state occurs only due to the change due to this switching action. It means when you turn on or turn off the switch then the values of the response, the response may be voltage or current in the network will change. And how much time, uh, how much time the transient state will last for how much time? Five time constants. Same way, the steady state will occur after five time constants. So the steady state condition will occur after five time constants. All right, let me repeat this whole thing again. Now we have two parts of a response. As you can see, whether you consider this one, of this one, we have two parts of the response. If I talk about this, the response changes from zero to some finite value and it reaches to non-zero value and it reaches to some final value, whether it is current or voltage, it reaches to some final value and it takes it five time constants approximately to reach to this value. Now, this part of the response is referred as transient response, means that state of the network in which the response is changing is referred as the transient state and the response is referred as transient response. Same way, after five time constants, after five time constants have passed, the, this voltage or the current in the circuit acquires it is final state, that refer, that's referred as the steady state and this behavior of the circuit is referred as the steady state behavior of this circuit. All right, I hope you have got the idea from this transient response and steady state response. Transient simply means when the values of the response are changing, steady state means when the values are not changing. Now, whether you consider this response or this response, you can see it takes approximately five time constants, means in five tau, the transient state lasts for five tau, all right? So in, after five tau, we have one more state that's referred as a steady state, all right? So in short, what I can conclude from this, if I talk about when I connect to the source to this and I draw the response, whether this is current or voltage, I draw it like this. And we can say, this is the transient response of the network. And this is referred as the steady state part of this response, all right? And this time is referred as the transient time, and this is referred as the steady state time. And this, uh, this change in the values occurs due to this two, um, these two reasons. Either you do the switch injection or you change the values of the parameters, but that is highly unlikely. So mostly we'll see the change in the values due to this switching action. All right, I hope you have got the idea what is meant by transient response, steady state response from this. Transient part of the response is that response in which the response changes. Steady state response is that part of the response after which the response of this does not change. All right, okay, let me stop here.